Hey guys, welcome back to Tap That. Today on Brews and Reviews, we're going to do an Ember's favorite Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. And for the review, we're doing the different flavors of Cheetos mac and cheese. Are you excited, Alex? I am. Let's see what's on tap. Alcohol. I gotta have a little talk with you. I wanna treat you just like you treated me. All right, guys, another Brews and Reviews. I'm actually pretty excited for this review. Um, we got Amber here doing it. We'll explain what we got. We got Cheetos regular. Yeah, right? Cheetos. Just, Just Cheetos, cheesy Cheetos. Golden cheese mac and cheese. We got flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. and we got Jalapeno mac and cheese. Yes. Now, a regular Cheeto, which is your favorite? Like, if you were just eating a Cheeto. Oh, just regular Cheetos are my favorite. Yeah. I, just I'm a, a, a simpleton here. I'm a jalapeno <laughs> Cheeto kind of guy. I do like Flamin' Hot, um, but I'm, I'm, a I'm a jalapeno. That's usually what I'll pick up. Um, for the beer, again, like we said in the intro. Yeah, this is, this is actually my favorite Voodoo Ranger, period. I, I, this, I think so. This is my favorite Voodoo Ranger beer oh. that I've had. I, you know, I'm sure there's more I haven't tried. But. Actually, I, I take it back. There is a Voodoo Ranger called Higher Plains, not mm -hmm. in this box. It's only like a, it's a cycle, like a year-round cycle. Fan-fucking-tastic. But this is Voodoo Ranger's Juicy Haze IPA. Let's get into it. Let's uh, crack that open. Let's go. A little ASMR for you guys. This is the first time we've used these sweet new glasses. Oh, oh I want to get to christen them. Yeah, we never used them before. Yeah, all right. I went way too heady on mine. Amber's a much better pourer than me. I couldn't even get mine all <laughs> oh in. Oh my goodness, <laughs> oh, wow. Heady. Mubby, hold on. You have to tilt the glass more. I did. More, I, more. More, I'm going to spill it at that point. Hold <laughs> well, on. you should start it. <laughs> I'm cheating here, guys. All right, all right, all right, that's fine. So, we got our Voodoo Ranger. Let's tap that and get right in on this one. Since, uh, so, so what, what mac and cheese would you like to try first? You know what? Let's just do the, let's get the flaming Hot. We're going with life. the flaming Hot right now. Yeah. Let's do it. So we got, first come first, we got the flaming Hot Mac and Cheese Cheetos. These ones are so red. Yeah, I, I'm uncomfortable with these, but you know what? Let's go. Let's, let's get it out of the way. They're a little cold, guys. We've had them sitting here for a while, so I'll try not to judge that. It's going to be hot. You want to tap that? Oh, oh no. shoot. No, I'm sorry. it's okay. Oh. They're not as hot as I thought. They're like weirdly powdery though. No, the heat kicks you in eventually. Oh good, here it goes. Okay, mm. all right. I still thought they'd be hotter than this. Yeah, they're not that hot. They taste like a flaming Hot Cheeto. Just like... Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. unfortunately because it's like a mix, you don't get like that powdery flavor to it, which I kind of, I'm kind of reminiscent of. I okay. did read on the box, or actually Ember did, that you can crush Cheetos and put it on top yeah, of it. Yeah, so so the the flaming hot says, try a Cheeto double dare. Top your flaming hot mac with uh, some Cheetos flaming hot crunchy. I think that'd be good. Hashtag Cheeto smack crack. I think that'd be good. I actually am kind of enjoying these. I actually am too. Uh, they're getting a little hot in my mouth now. Yeah, well, it's but it's the same level of spiciness as a flaming hot is. But I like it. This yeah. is good. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Get your last bite. Which one do you want to do second? Um, let's work our way down in spicy. Let's All right. We got the jalapeno mac and cheese Cheeto. These are my actual favorite, so I got high hopes for this one. Can you taste anything after this, though? <laughs> we probably should have went cheesy to spicy. Well, but I'm going to take a sip. Let's cleanse the palate. The beer pair is well. The beer pairs weirdly well. I wasn't expecting it to. Actually, let's let's hold off on that for a second because I would like to get the the <clears throat> spicy out of my taste buds. Yeah, but you know, let's I'm, talk about the beer. You know, I'm like, learning to pair beers with food. I'm I'm bad at it, but I this is this is oddly well. I I'm surprised. It does all. This is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Not like I want to cry or anything, but like. It's you know, hot. You know it's there. And maybe that's why this is, or like anything but this hot ass feeling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go through taste though on okay. uh, on this Voodoo Ranger. Now this is your favorite. It is. I like a beer with notes of anything with like a fruity. Yeah. I love a beer, and I'm I'm with Ember. There there's a fruitiness to it, but 
the juicy, I think, is the key word here. This isn't like a bitterness that I'm like. No, and like, it's not bitter. And I don't hate those beers. I do drink those beers where I'm like, and I and I sometimes I enjoy those. But this one is something I feel like I could drink like lemonade or something. You know, there's yes. like a, there's a flavor to it that I really enjoy. The juices, the juice, yeah. juice is there. It's it's the, juice. <laughs> the juice. Like, it's good. I mean, it is a a really good play off of their regular IPA, which again we've talked about it before. We we've had a bunch. We've had the regular IPA. It is a good play off the regular IPAs. It shares enough notes for me yes. that the flavor's still there where I'm like, oh, this this is a good juicy IPA. It just it brings it to that next that next level for me. It's like up there, you know? Uh, I like it. I, I'm with Amber. This might be my favorite. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Let's get them right so, on the label. Let's, yeah. So I like Voodoo Rangers labels. Um, I like that they incorporate their... Uh, their mascot their every mascot time. Their mascot every time. yeah. But in the same context, it's the same thing it's as the, the same guy. Is yeah, <laughs> he's not doing. I feel like on a lot of their special ones, he's doing something mm-hmm. cool. Like this one is literally. He's not doing anything. He's this just is chilling. The, it's the regu- original label mm-hmm. with a white background. I'm, yes, I think when we get to the regular IPA, this is the same exact label. He might have different color goggles. Does he have different color goggles? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. I but, mean, he's drawn a little different, but it's a little boring. But I know it's so good, I usually pick it up. Exactly. Um, and I'll tell you when I first bought Voodoo Ranger, the the label. I I'm a person who buys things for labels. Sure, we all are. And this this drew me. This drew me in. <laughs> so I do like the stitching on it, like on top. Like the, it looks like they stitched the label on. I mean, I know it's all printed on. Yeah, but, but it like, looks. A, yeah, I there's, see. There's like a stitching around the rim that I I enjoy. <laughs> Let's move on though. Again, guys, we are. Oh, I'm so hot, Alex. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> we are on Cheetos mac and cheese cheesy jalapeno. This is my favorite one. I'm. I'm I got high hopes for it. No, so it's just uh. Not quite as red. Oh, look, I got some pink in there. I'm sorry, Alex. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Oh, I got the jalapeno though. Mm. Yeah, no. jalapeno comes forward. This in is that. good. Yeah, and this is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is more complex than that one. The uh, flaming yeah. hot's just hot, and it, I'm not saying it's not good if you like flaming hot Cheetos. Mm-hmm. That tasted like flaming hot Cheetos. Mm. This one, and maybe it's a compliment to even the the ones like the regular ones. There's a complexity to this. Yeah, you know? well, and the, and the you taste the jalapeno mm-hmm. flavor, and you know though in the jalapeno Cheetos you taste the jalapeno. You do. I think the cheese comes through more in this one though. Like I, I taste mac and cheese in this you one. Bite. That tastes like soft hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> this tastes like mac and cheese with jalapenos in it. I'm into that. I like this. This is good. I also feel like he threw some ha- actual jalapenos in there. Yeah. It would be good with some sour cream or something. Oh mm. yeah. Yeah. Make it like creamy mac. Mm. Like if you were to make a mac and cheese and just throw like a box of that in there. Like, just to, like, stir it up with it. Like, if you were making, like, baked mac and cheese with it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That'd be good. That's good. That's surprisingly good, guys. I'm I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised about that, um, too. So, we got, we usually have somewhere in this house a pack of, of jalapeno cheetos. Whether mm-hmm. I tried to buy them and sneak them in so nobody else would eat them, or she tried to buy them and sneak them in. Because, so, you know. You hide food from you your gotta, kids. You have to hide that. You gotta hide you gotta food hide from your it. kids because they'll eat it all. My kids eat everything you know, in my house. I saw something once upon a time on Facebook. You hide your, your snacks yeah. in healthy things. <laughs> you gotta hide that shit. <laughs> Should we see if they compliment each other? Basic bit. Oh, I have drank a few. Oh, I have not. I would say it compliments a little less. I would say it compliments a little less. It tastes more like beer to me. Where When I was eating this, it was just like... <laughs> And again, maybe you were right in the sense that like it burnt I just, our taste buds off. I was just like looking for relief <laughs> from the heat. And again, it's, it's not crazy hot, guys. We're not sitting here saying that like this is gonna be like crazy, hot, crazy. But it's hot, you know, for an average person, it's it's hot. Um, but it, the beer did pair well better with the other one. But we got for our last one, we have just regular Cheetos mac and cheese. We're gonna tap this one. We gotta tap okay, it. We one. have to. I'm sorry. I it's know. okay. We didn't. Uh, the last one was my fault. Tap that. Okay. Oh, it tastes like a Cheeto. Mm. This one's the weakest for me. It is, but it tastes like a Cheeto. Um, the second bite was better, but this one tastes the least like it's what it's representing. Mm-mm. This is. Number- hmm. This is number one for me. I I say. Oh, for sure. This one though, it's good. This is good, just mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, for box. It tastes mac like and mac cheese. and cheese. It tastes like 
my boxed mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. It's it's fine. And I think there is it's different than regular mac and cheese. This tastes more like the nacho fake cheese that I kind of want when I want a Cheeto. It is what it advertises. It is what it advertises. This one tastes, though, less like a Cheeto than the the other two. If I were to rank them, they'd be exactly as they are opposite for you guys. Yeah. I would go jalapeno. Yep. Flame and hot. I agree. Cheetos. I agree. One, two, three. Yep. All in all, I, I think these are pretty good. I mean, I know we ranked this last, but I wouldn't be unhappy with this. I'd be I, fine with that. I want to say I learned something, though. I just want to say it. What'd you learn? That juice, th- this beer complements spicy food. And, yeah. The spicier, the more it complements it. Yeah. It, it. It got less better for me as I went on. I mean, yes. and not that I don't like it. No, it, it's, I love this beer. But, but it, ex- this it was the best it. after this. It excelled this. Yes. Uh, I'm with that. I learned something today. I did. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> Oh, guys, we got to show you something, though. Did you see our professional beer taster cups? They don't just give this out to anybody. This was earned between me and her. I didn't just buy this in a store. Don't laugh. I didn't just buy this in a store. This was earned, okay? We drink a lot of beer. (laughs) Yeah. Let's give a quick final review on these Cheetos things. I think all of you watching at home should try these, especially if you like Cheetos. Mm -hmm. I think at least two of the three of these represent what they are. And like a good fun, I don't know if I'd eat these for like a daily meal, especially these flaming Hots. How could you justify that for like a daily? Every day. Yeah, like yeah. not a daily these, meal. These though, I would. I'd yeah, eat those. Those would be good. This, like the flaming Hots, like a good experimental thing, but like you couldn't put that it's in your, hot. Week, your weekly rotation. No, it's like, hot. It tastes like a flaming Cheeto. It's ridiculous. I also think if you're going to buy mac and cheese. Other mac and cheese, yeah, they're all the same. Flaming Hot and Cheesy Jalapeno run this game. When it comes to cheesy flavor, you know I'm king. Bold and cheesy mac and cheese, it's a Cheetos thing. So, I'm gonna, I'm almost done actually. I'm gonna finish this off. I probably, I'm gonna do. bring the chugability back. That's, that's a callback if you guys have seen our earlier episode, chugability. Mm. I'm gonna save some. That's a chuggable beer. I need to review. That's a chuggable beer. I love that beer. Let's move on to content though. Our content is sitting at a healthy, Ooh. not on this can, but I've saw it on this box a few times, at a healthy 7.5, Ooh. and that beer is too damn good to be up in the mid-7s. Well, you know what? It's dangerous then. That's dangerous. It's dangerous. I, I like a date. I like to live on the wild me side. Me too. I like the line. Yeah, man. I like that line. <laughs> a 7.5 for that flavor is fantastic. It is. Um, I, I didn't realize it was a seven. Yeah, I, I if I were to it's drink this again, beer, right. if I were, I, that hurts. We've talked about this before. I don't want to give it that review without actually looking at this can over thoroughly. I don't see it. No, it is. Oh, oh I see it. No, yeah, no, no. seven point five gotta, by yeah. volume. You got to read it. Okay. So good. Always have your alcohol content on the can. It's important. We have run into ones that haven't. Um, I'm gonna move on to my review if if you're ready. That's fine. Let's do it. All right. So. I think, un- un- not unfortunately, but fortunately, the biggest denture- detriment to this can or to this beer is the can itself. I the agree. Labeling. The label. The, the label. label. Um, Bor, I think it's a detriment to the entire. But as we always say, guys, taste label content is in an order. Taste most important, label second, content third. Yes. Content, though, is so strong, it's moving closer and closer to label for me. This is one of my favorite beers. I am with Ember. I, I am ecstatic about this beer yes and i i don't know i I got a number in my head and i don't know if it's the the highest i've ever rated things i i feel like it might be but i'm gonna give this beer an 8.9 i think it's a fantastic beer i would drink this every single day of the week and never never look back i think the i'll go tlc real real quick taste is fantastic there's a juiciness there's a fruitiness to it and it it blends it very very well there's nothing like overly spoken but there's nothing underly spoken either it's all very good label while not my favorite i do like the reoccurring mascot so when i see the voodoo ranger skeleton i always am drawn to it yes um and content's great for what this flavor beer tastes like 7.5 is fantastic so that's my review, 8.9. I, that might be the highest tap that re- s- score I've ever given, but what's well, you up? So, you know, I don't want to go with the same score as Alex, um, but I, I'm going to 
I'm going to give it a 9.1. 9.1. Because, 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 one, the taste is great. Every time I buy a pack of Voodoo Ranger, if that's in it, they're mine. They're mine. They're mine. Yeah. I, I, you know, I don't care who I'm sharing with. They're mine. Um, See, you come from a different household, though. Where you have to share your beer. Yeah, I do have to share my beer. When um, I buy beer, nobody drinks my okay. beer. <laughs> Unless Alex is coming to my house, <laughs> yeah. I don't have to share my beer. Uh, or I do have to share my beer where he doesn't. Um, yeah. I only have to share when she comes over, is I think what she meant. Yes. Marissa, no beer. She don't want none of no. that. No. Uh, where my husband, he uh, he drink. also loves his beer. Yeah. Um, so I have to lay claim. But, uh, so taste for me, it's it's amazing. Um, the label, again, where I agree with Alex. You see the Voodoo Ranger, you know it's going to be a decent beer. It's going to be beer. a good beer. It's going to be a good beer. Not um, even decent. Good. Content, I was surprised by the content. I didn't realize the alcohol by volume was so high in this right. beer. And I learned something about it, which is why I gave it a 9.1. It pairs well with spicy foods, and I love my spicy foods. She's so gonna have to start doing her spicy foods. I love my hot with sauce. The Voodoo Ranger. So that is why I give it a nine point one. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I'm with Ember. That really, this is a great, fantastic beer. Cheetos, good. Get it for your kids. Get it for yourself. It, it's a good experimental thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I was happy with it, um, but. As always, guys, please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on the Facebook, on the Twitter, on anything you can find us. Please just just look for us. And please, please, please tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.